welcome back. This is Gia and Sandro from the Hilton Head Ballroom Dance Studio. We're so excited to dance with you again this week. Today's dance is Mambo. Mambo. So we are going to work on the Mambo basic elements. We're going to teach you two basic steps. We have one where it goes forward and back. And then we're gonna have a side break mambo also. So both of them are a basic element for mambo. And some of you already learned the salsa before, I'm sure. So we just wanna make sure you know mambo and salsa, it's pretty much the same dance, same steps. It's just the musicality and the timings of the dance, it's a little bit different. But, so if you know mambo, basically you know salsa. Or if you know salsa, you know mambo. It's just a different music and the counts are different for uh, the other dances. So let's get to it. So we're gonna do the basic, the basic. Oh, yeah, sorry, so ahead. we'll go ahead and start with the basic. We'll face you first, then we'll turn away from you. You're going to begin with your feet together. Any rhythm or Latin dance that we do, always glue your feet together. And we'll get into more details as we go along, but we'll start here. We'll go ahead and I'll bend the right knee, all right? So gentlemen, typically you always start on the left, but we're gonna keep it the same for today. So we're gonna bend the right knee. So doing the ladies part would be backwards on the right. So we're gonna take a small rock step back with the right rock step. We come back and stand on our little home base. Bend your left knee, and now let's go to our forward rock. Small forward rock, feet together, and switch. So each time we switch, we're bending the opposite knee. Let's go back on the right, rock, step, together, bend. Rock, step, together, bend. Rock, step, together, bend. Rock, step, together, bend. We're gonna turn away, away from you so you can see that again. So for the sake of keeping everyone going the same direction, we're all going to begin with our right. We're going backwards. We have rock, step, together, bend. 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 Very good. So we're going to go into the next set, and that's uh, the side breaks. Okay, so we're going to show you that. And the next step that we're going to work on is a side break, also what we have called in lessons with you before, la cucaracha, which means the cockroach. All right, <laughs> we're going to squish the cockroach. All right, so we're going to all begin um, with bending our right leg, and we're going to take a short side step, transfer your body weight, come back to this little home base in the middle, and switch by bending your left knee just like we did in our basic. Now let's go a small side step to the left, back to home base, switch your knees. Side and together, side and together. La cucaracha or squish the bug. Very good, okay, so let's do the same thing away from the camera so you can follow us. So once again, gentlemen, you always start with your left leg or left foot, ladies always with the right. We are doing uh, mirror imaging, so we're doing the same now, just so you can see it easier. Uh, but when you dance in the real world, you are going to face your partner. Gentleman always starts with the left, to the left, and the ladies goes to the right, and then we go on. Or what Gia was teaching earlier, the progressive basic, the ladies going back on the right, the gentleman forward on the left, so we go two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one. So we're gonna show you the side breaks, the cucaracha, and we're doing to the right because that's how we've been doing it, okay? So we're going to the right, we go one to the right, home base change, and to the left, back to middle, change. A one, two, and a change, middle, one, two, change, middle, very good. So let's do this one more time, and then we're gonna put the two steps together. So we go sideways. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Very good. So now let's do facing away from you. We should do the, the regular basic, okay? Yeah. So we're going to do two basic steps forward and back. 
going backwards first, and then two sets of cucarachas. So we're gonna go start with our right foot going back, two sets of our first basic step. You have rock step together, switch, forward rock and switch, back rock and switch, forward rock, la cucaracha, side break, middle switch, side break, middle switch. Again, side and middle and side and middle. And then that would free up your right foot in a perfect world if we were all going on the same foot, that would free you up for the next step. And the next thing we would like to explain to you is what makes mambo very unique from salsa. It is the timing, all right? So in salsa, right, is I would say a little bit easier because dancers naturally want to dance on the one. Salsa, you dance one, two, three. Example of salsa really quickly, starting on our right foot would be one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. If you notice, that step looked an awful lot like your mambo, but now mambo's timing is going to be different. We hold the one, so your body is going to hold for the one, and we're gonna rock back on the two, three, four, we hold five, and we move on to six, seven, eight. All right? So again, um, if we do that a little continuous, you hold one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. That's also gonna apply to the side breaks that we've already shown you. So again, you would hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold. Now, we're saying the word hold doesn't mean that we're not doing anything there. Remember when we talked about switching the body weight and bending the knee? That's where it happens, and that's gonna also give you hip action. We'll talk about that too. So we're going to show you the basic step from behind, and the hold will be the bending of the knee. So that's in your one. So you have one, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, bend. If we show you the side breaks from behind, starting on the right foot, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, switch. Very good. So basically when you do what Gia says, the, the bending and shifting the weight in the middle, just think of a little marching step. So when, when you go see the real authentic salsa and mambo dancers, they really doing it in place a lot and they just keeping the timing. So you never do wrong or right. Salsa and mambo is really a street dance. So it's not an exaggerated techniques for it, just like on any other ballroom dancing. Because salsa and mambo is more like a, 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 just a fun social dance. So once again, if you do it with the partner, just so you guys know, we can't really hold each other. We keep our six uh, feet apart, but you're gonna hold a lady up here, just like a regular. You go hold her under her uh, shoulder blade, okay? And the lady's holding me up on my shoulder, and that's how we're gonna do it. And we always come a little bit closer in and closing the arm, so it's not, it's not a big frame, it's more a tighter frame. And also you can dance salsa or mambo down here too with this kind of hand, hand positioning, so that works also. But when you do the mambo and the salsa, I want you guys to know you need to be leaning a little bit into each other. So you don't dance away from each other like this, you're gonna dance into each other. So you're leaning a little forward. You see our body, how we are a little bit sinking into the floor and dipping forward. So it's never dancing salsa or mambo like one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, or two, three, four, one. You always in a little bit. This is a, a down dance. So look at this. We're gonna try to show you. So gentlemen, left forward, ladies, back on the right. We go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now we're going to the side. Two, three, four, one. You see, we don't go back, we stay in. Two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so now we're gonna take the two steps that we have learned when, with Mambo and put it to music for you so you'll have something to practice with. Again, you have your basic step, which is the forward and back motion, and then you have your side breaks, which is side to side. So we're going to, um, uh, when we begin with the music, everyone's gonna go back with the right. So back rock together, Forward rock together, we'll do it twice. Back rock together, forward rock to the side, side break middle, a side break middle, side break middle, and then you will go back to your basics. So we're gonna do two of each several times through. All right, let's get ready to dance with some mambo music. together, we talked about crossover breaks. This is a very common dance move that we use a lot in our lessons with you when we come out to Sun City to dance with you. So we want to talk about the same crossover break that we can apply in Mambo. So if Sandro, we're going to give you a quick example. If we were dancing with one another and our arms were down, a crossover break opens up into the opening. So if we did from, we'll turn to face you, we would turn and rock, step, we face our partner, shift weight, and we rock, step, face our partner. All right, so that's a crossover break where we butterfly open or rock open. Together and rock, step, together. When we dance a crossover break in Mambo, you've already heard the music, it's so fast. That means smaller steps. So when we turn for a crossover, we need to keep that foot very much underneath our body, right? Or just slightly in front. We're not taking a large step. And then pull yourself back to face your partner and another small rock step opening out. Rock, step, together. Very good. So crossover break means we basically opening up and crossing over the foot front of your other leg, which is your standing leg. I know it sounds a little complicated, but try, we're going to show you a little bit of the, the routine, what we did today. So you have the overall look and then you can see how the crossover break fits into it. Okay. So we're going to pretend we're holding into a frame and we're doing two of everything. So we're going to do one basic, I mean, two basics, two side cucarachas, and then two crossover breaks. We're gonna do it sideways so you can see us, then we'll turn different angles. So, gentlemen left, ladies on the right. So we go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now you take the side step, guys to the left, ladies to the right. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And at this time, I'm gonna bring my hands down from the regular position, Okay, if we would hold it, we come down to here. Now my left foot is free, the lady's right, so I'm crossing my foot over, and we're gonna do the crossover. We go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and I will grab the ladies back into the regular frame so we can go back to the beginning. One more time, we go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, side breaks, two, three, four, one, side, two, three, lower the hands, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. 
And again, if you do the mambo and the salsa in the correct way, you try to do everything even, two steps forward, two steps to the side, or four or four, then it should always come out correctly. So it's just like the puzzle. If you have the right pieces, you can mix match this. You don't have to do always do two basics forward and back and side to side and two crossover. You can mix it the way you like it as long as you're keeping those twos or fours or even numbers. So the gentleman always initiate and starts with the left, the ladies with the right. Okay, so this is our mambo for today. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for Gia. Thank you for Sandra. Si es que no encuentro razón de vivir como vivir